Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. At the risk of sounding a little dramatic this morning, I, I will confess to you that I have never felt more like the prophet Jeremiah in all my ministry when he said this, my heart has become like a burning fire shut up in my bones and I am weary of holding it in and I cannot endure it. The uh, fire that has been there for a period of time really began with a spark. When I became much aware of the, the, the growing relationship that was going on between the world system in which we live and the Christian. And uh, I, I suppose that's the thing that attracted me to the experiment that was mentioned in the Smithsonian Magazine. Some of you will remember it. It was performed by Dr. John Calhoun, the um, research psychologist of the National Institute of Mental Health. He's the man that built the nine foot square cage for mice. He began with eight mice and it was designed to house comfortably 160 mice. And he allowed it to grow to 2200 instead. All the while he provided sufficient water and food, freedom from disease, and a perfect climate in which these mice could grow. And the only thing he allowed to run its course was aging, aging. As it peaked out at two and a half years, he began to observe this overcrowded cage of mice for the next two and a half years. After five years since the cage was built, every mouse had died. Even though there was in the cage sufficient food, sufficient water, a perfect climate for the growing of these creatures and no disease. He was asked, how can you compare that to the human problem of our overcrowded conditions? He said, if that kind of situation arose where we had no escape from this kind of scene, we would first of all cease to reproduce our ideas and along with that we would cease to reproduce our goals and our ideals. In other words, and I quote, our values would be lost, unquote. That's when the spark struck. When I began to observe a similar situation, a loss of values. I couldn't understand why the Christians, so many of us were beginning to lose our cutting edge. Our distinctives were getting fuzzy. Our values were getting weak and looked upon with uh, a jaundiced eye by other Christians calling those values dated or idealistic that began to uh, rub and, and irritate me inside. Because the book that I am preaching and will always preach is an unchanging series of standards. For any generation must be applied intelligently, must be interpreted correctly, but nevertheless the standard is to be maintained. We live in a time where Christian values are blurred and weakened. But God's Word is truth and it's unchanging. When we choose to ignore it, we become like the mice in that experiment, lost, confused, and without hope. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Commitment is the Key, Part 1, 
was copyrighted in 1978, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.